Hello, today we are talking about tools. This is my toolbox for my handyman business. Kuna fix it? Yes I can. So, let's get right into it. This is my new toolbox. It's a beautiful box. It's pretty great. Only complaint is that the lid won't stay up because it's hitting the handle. Even if I take my hat off the handle, it falls down. Um, learn something new every day. Bonus. It's way too hot in here for a hat. All right, cool, so that works better. I learned something new. So tools in my toolbox. There's this guy. This is a fun little guy. One side. It's a drill bit with a little countersink. I flip it over. And it usually sticks in there a lot faster than that. And you stick one of these guys in there. Tighten the set screw. Doesn't tighten anymore because it's stripped. Uh, my tools aren't new, just the box is new. So yeah. Drill and countersink. That was not supposed to come out of there. Flip it over. Put your screw in. It's a little backwards for me. I guess because you're holding the drill with this hand. You pop that in. Okay, yeah. So you're switching the tool with one hand while holding the drill with the other hand. It's a fun little toy. Almost, that's why it's not fitting the hole. My bit's in there. Well, it was a fun toy when it was new and it worked really well. So, got a little tray here, fits a couple of bits. Got a pencil, very important for marking. I haven't used it enough to fit with my Sharpies over here, but I'll show you that in a minute. Got a knife. It's dirty, it's been used. I should probably get new blades for it. I have a box of drill bits. These are all like wooden metal bits, pretty random. I got some spade bits in there. Worn out, it's probably garbage, but uh, I'm just doing handyman work. We don't have to be precise. This works, it's fast, it's efficient. I keep my masonry bits separate. Masonry bits don't go through wood very well. If you know what a masonry bit does, instead of having a sharp blade on the tip, it's got like a hardened chisel tip smash through rock and concrete. So that's masonry bits. This is my lunch to shake. This is a shake cup. So I make my lunch. Tape. I should replace this with uh, masking tape or duct tape, but uh, it's aluminum foil tape. It's uh, it's useful. It's sticky. Holds things together. Teflon tape for sealing pipes. Just wrap that around the threads. It's great for uh, shower heads, laundry tubs, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is similar. It is pipe putty or pipe dope. It has lots of different names. But what it does is the same as this tape, but it's a little messier and a lot faster. And yeah, this tape's kind of tricky to use. This stuff you can stick it on the pipe, thread it on, no problem. There's no, yeah, it's easy. It's fast. It's not pretty. I've got uh, some extra hardware there, hanging stuff in the wall. I got some. 
big screws and anchors. Got these, these are fun. That's where I keep my, my bits. And there's these. Pull out the big one. So it's got a hex drive and it's got threads and a drill bit. So it drills and taps its own hole and then you're, you're, you're set to go. These ones will drill tap and uh, countersink. Yowzers. They're pretty handy uh, doing any kind of metal work. Screw bits, Torx, Phillips, Robertson, Hex. That's what's in here. A couple of other extra things. Little Allen key for furniture assembly. Put together a table yesterday. They usually come with most of the tools you need for it, but uh, sometimes they don't. Screws, screws, connectors. Do the odd light fixture, and uh, that comes in handy. This box, this has my push and connect. Uh, Shark Bite is another brand that I like, uh, and those are that's just a half inch straight connector. I got a leaky pipe, I can splice in a little piece pretty quickly with this. Saves hours of labor and there's almost no risk of a leak and they also come in different ways this is a nice chrome uh, I use this on a toilet or something the pipes coming out of the wall you just shove that on the pipe connect your toilet uh, hoses to that and uh, it's, it's nice because it's got a ball valve so instead of having that big plastic thing that you got a reef on, you cut your hand on it and it doesn't work and it starts to leak right away. This thing, so quick, 90 degrees, off, on, off, on, just like that. It's ball valve, no rubber seals to fail, nothing to dry out. And that's a push and connect. Quick, easy repair. Often sinks come, uh, I've seen a lot of kitchen sinks that don't have a shut off in the cabinet. So you gotta shut off the water to the whole house if you got a leaky kitchen faucet. And that is no good. I come in, swap it out. These guys are straight. So if you got a pipe going straight up and down, slap that on there. Pipe's coming out of the wall, 90 degrees. That goes on, works on copper and plastic pipe. These are excellent. What else in here? I got a little bit of glue. The Craggle, if you like the Lego movie. It's a pretty cool gorilla. You gotta have gorilla hands to open the lid on that. But uh, it's good. It's not foam safe. Don't use it on foam. A little bit of white glue, wood glue, same stuff. It works. Pencil. Great for penciling on things, marking things. Throwing my Sharpie around. Sharpies are great. Marking PVC pipe, marking copper, plastic. Friends get too drunk and pass out, you can write on their face. As long as they're not bigger than you. And uh, if you really want to get artistic, Sharpies come in colors not just black anymore. I'm looking at my wife, she's not approving. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so colored Sharpies. If, uh, I don't really know why I have more than one color of Sharpie, but uh, they're useful. Uh, making a 3D printed boat and I've got some, uh, some clear plastic on my 3D printer. And uh, I think I might try to uh, use a Sharpie to make red and green because, you know, boats have red, green, and white lights. Right now it's got three white lights. You're not going to know which direction the boat's going at night. Good thing it's just a toy. Anyways, that is the top box. Nice little clear organizer. Stick these back in here in no particular order. Just kidding, there's an order. 
Everything's in order. It's noisy. Right, the tape is flattened so the lid will close. If I had a roll of masking tape, it wouldn't need to be flattened. Oh, dope. Knife. Drill bit thingy. Teflon tape. All right. These boxes are neat because they stack. So, pop that clip off. Top box comes off. What's in the next box? More stuff. Definitely not. Absolutely nothing. What's in that box? Yeah, that's going to be a problem. So they unhook, they stack. That's great. Got some paint brushes. Four out of five. Did some trim today, put some primer on it. Gloves. Gloves. Sometimes you use gloves. When you're working in other people's houses, doing work they don't want to do, gloves are good to have. This I use all the time. Screwdrivers. Show you what they go in later. Oh no, no I'll show you right now. This guy right here. Dig, dig. Oh, burn myself. Put that right here. Just a. It's a ratchet screwdriver. It's great. It's got a magnet. Holds the bits in place. I can like reef on it, or I can twist two fingers. It's snap on paid a lot of money for it a long time ago it's worth every penny anyways regular hex bits in the little kit so they're easy to find ratchet screwdriver uh, locks in the middle loosen tighten pretty awesome used to have some NASCAR guys name on there uh, warning it's not a chisel oh and I never open this part, but you're supposed to be able to store bits in there. It's a hassle. I don't do it. I keep my bits in a little kit. That's my favorite toy. This stuff, white dap, uh, trim mostly. You uh, use this to seal it up. Cover all your uh, nail holes, fill in the little cracks, that kind of stuff. This is uh, pretty excellent, uh, useful stuff. And uh, mostly use white because it trim is usually white, so why not, right? Uh, what else we got here? Another screwdriver. This one comes with its own bits. Uh, Phillips big. Small slot, smaller slot, uh, most common Robertson, and the one slightly smaller. Flips, it's pretty excellent. Uh, pretty sure this is actually my wife's screwdriver, but I stole it. Or I might have gotten it for Father's Day or Christmas or something. Yeah, no, it's hers. Yeah, confirmed. Stolen screwdriver. She doesn't mind, she never used it. Tape measure. She used to use it all the time. Now she's a kuna, and I can fix it. This is a tape measure. Fun game we used to play. See how long you can extend the tape measure. Give me a hint. I'm gonna hit the ceiling before I run out of tape measure. This one is not my wife's tape measure. I remember buying it. Somewhere. A little speed square. I know it's a triangle, but trust me, it's called a square. Carpenter's joke. It's uh, 
yeah, it does lots of stuff. I use it for the square so I can make square lines perpendic perpendicular parallel perpendicular to the uh, edge. Also use it for measuring. I used it today on the all my pencils in there. I'll pretend this is a pencil. So I put my pencil in here and I used it to make a parallel line parallel to the edge that was on here. So that's what I did today with that. It worked. It's got a nice even straight gap between the doors now. It's perfect. Uh, these guys, big, middle, and small adjustable wrenches, thumb wrenches. I don't know any other name. Monkey wrenches. Yeah. Anyways, the actual name is adjustable wrench, and I have three for some reason. Sometimes my small ones too small. My metal ones almost always useful. And the big one I usually just throw in trees. More on that later. While we're on uh, plumbing, channel locks. Uh, they're great for demolition plumbing. You put lots of messy marks all over the shiny new nuts when you try to use these to install plumbing. The right size wrench or an adjustable wrench is better. But this works for hard to reach areas, that kind of stuff, where you don't want to be shoving a wrench in and out. Uh, pliers, needle nose pliers, uh, reaching uh, these are mostly for electrical. So I got needle nose, linesmen's, side cutters. They're all handy. I've used these for a long time. Electronics work, electrical work, uh, chains on chandeliers. Sometimes people want me to shorten the chain on a chandelier, and I can do that with these pretty easily, safely, without having to disconnect any wires or turn off any breakers. Uh, yeah, those come in handy. Another set of channel locks. You can tell I've had these guys for a while. Uh, probably my first set of tools out of high school. I don't know about these pliers, but these channel locks definitely are. Whole big set of them. And uh, stud finder. You got to. You have to do that. Come on. It's a stud finder. It finds studs. Um, it also warns me if there's a wire. So if I'm gonna be putting a big screw in a wall, I check for wires, because you don't want to electrocute your drill. This is not yours, I bought it last week. I have no idea. But the one I had before, I actually had since middle school. And uh, I'm not sure it works reliably anymore. This one's so far pretty accurate. Hung a few pictures with it. Ah, uh, you can do it up like this too. Yeah, there's four or five. This one rotates for some reason. Uh, so you can have a nice inaccurate 45. Or you can attempt to have some kind of close proximity or something. Uh, yeah, so that's a level. It's great for small shelves, pictures, that kind of stuff. It's got magnets. I can stick it to pipes. Stick it to a metal toolbox. Except my toolbox is plastic. Um, it's great. It's good for garage doors. Getting the shaft level, getting the tracks uh, perpendicular, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a level. Not much else to say about that. It's great. It's got little magnets. My stubby Robertson. It's at least a red Robertson, which is 
probably the most useful Robertson, most commonly used Robertson out there. Uh, that's square tip for non-handy people. Uh, not sure why this is in my box. I'm not going to use it that much. Most things need a longer handle or I use my ratcheting screwdriver. Look, another red robbers in this should be in my case. Seems to have escaped. In there. And I got uh, pipe cutters. Haven't opened them yet. I haven't uh, done a job that needed uh, plastic pipe cut. But these are for cutting PVC, vinyl, and rubber tubing up to one and a half inches which should cover just about everything residential. Plan to do mostly residential work. And that, my friends, is the second box. These boxes do a cool thing. To get all these guys back in here, I'll show you. Now, they are stackable. But not just stackable, they lock together. So, take this box, which was on top, pull these little flaps out, just close the lid on this one. The new so the latches are kind of stiff. This handle folds up, stick that on top. Lock these guys in. They all lift together. It's great. I carry this stack in one hand, this guy in the other hand, and uh, it's pretty handy. Now the big one, the bottom box. Uh, here's the other half. This is the metal pipe cutter. Oh, I did keep that little tip for the caulking gun. Uh, it's probably solidly packed solid with caulking now, so it probably could go in the garbage. Set that aside for later. And there's the big one. And he is hiding. There's a the little one. So this is nice for tight spaces uh, behind a toilet. If too close to the wall, you can't get in with this guy. Uh, they do the same job. This guy just goes a lot bigger and has a built-in reamer. Deburring tool. I think that's a deburring tool, not a reamer. Uh, I'm sure I'll find out in the comments one day. Get lots of slack for that kind of stuff on YouTube. Yeah, these you just uh, apparently don't thread it out all the way. But uh, great little pipe cutters, tight spaces, multimeter. It's great for checking continuity. See if electricity will flow down a wire or if it's broken. Um, use it for testing batteries, that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't do too much electrical work because electricians should be doing that work and I don't want to step on their toes. So this does get used a little bit. Main thing you gotta remember is to always turn it off when you're done. Otherwise you need it and you gotta put a new battery in it. This is going back in my toolbox in the garage. It's a plane. It does not fly in the sky, but what it does is this little blade protrudes just a touch and it scrapes wood down and it's nice and long so you get a nice level or no, not level but a nice plain uh, piece of wood so uh, if you got something wavy this will take the humps off in a couple of pushes or pulls I like it it's old pretty sure I got that one for my dad it's probably built bolts or something. This actually came with a uh, faucet that I installed 
re and re-faucet is a pretty common thing. Uh, it's just a little wrench so that you don't over tighten the bolt and possibly break the countertop, break the faucet. Mono. Get the mono. Remember that commercial? I vaguely remember it. I don't remember how the jingle actually goes, but this is clear kitchen and bath sealer for sealing things. Um, it'll come in handy one day. Little tray for. I've never figured out why toolboxes have these little trays that you can pull out. Um, why it has a handle in the middle, to me it's a waste of space, but uh, they all seem to have it for some reason. Um, some taps. I found them when I was going through my drill bits, sorting the, the masonry bits from the regular bits. Uh, so they're in there. It's a caulking gun. Saw this in the last video. Caulking tube goes in there. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the tip. So if you cut the tip, you can control how big, use this camera because you can see better. You can control how big the hole is and how big your bead is by how you cut this and how you angle it. And the thing is you can turn this while pumping. So uh, there's just a couple of tricks. Pull this out so I don't accidentally come out. Why are you doing this to me right now? There we go. That's a caulking gun. That's a caulking tube. This is the uh, bathroom stuff. Kitchen, bath, and plumbing. Very similar to the mono, but uh, for bigger jobs, this tube will do uh, easily a whole bathroom. Uh, I did a tub, probably used three quarters of the tube for a bathtub in uh, the last video I did. Sorry, that was probably really loud. Uh, impact driver. Uh, three out of four on the battery, it's still good. I use it a lot. This one is not my wife's. She bought it for me for Christmas. She should know better. Is it Christmas? Birthday? There's a kit. There's two. Um, yeah, three batteries, two drills, uh, two speeds, clutch. It's pretty good. Milwaukee, M18. I mean, look them up anywhere. And uh, I'm sure... You hear people who can't afford them complaining and people who can't afford them loving them. So um, that's, I love those. Those are my favorite tools. Uh, some nails, not super useful. Well, I've had the ratchet screwdriver for longer. Um, no, yeah, that ratchet screwdriver is my favorite. I have a lot of favorite tools. Um, yeah, that, that yellow snap-on ratchet screwdriver is number one for sure my favorite, but, uh, anyways, continuing on, um, distraction, anyways, some nails, not the most useful, but there's lots of them for a cheap price, hang a lot of pictures with them. Uh, little things that aren't going to pull them out of the wall. That kind of stuff is great. Uh, this is a nice little kit. Multi kit. I got some eyes there, some picture frame things, some wire. I use that to hang a mirror today. Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I hung it. Today I adjusted it because you want a little bit higher. No problem. Love doing that. Whatever makes customer happy. I'm not going to tell her how high a mirror should be because that is up to the customer. More screws, mostly machine screws, a couple of picture hangy things. Bolts and nuts, nuts and bolts. 
Uh, I'm not sure what exactly I use these for on handyman jobs, but I use them in the garage a lot for bolting things. And if I happen to lose a screw or a nut, it's handy to have around. Some chain, it's very good for uh, treasure chest lids and uh, other stuff that I can find out when I actually need it. Um, mostly it was in the closet and it ended up in the toolbox. And uh, battery. I went and screwed my charger to the wall. So a spare full battery is a good idea until I go in the garage and unscrew my charger from the wall and bring it with me but I probably won't. Well, I might do that next week, actually. I got a longer job. I'm gonna be doing a lot of work. Uh, this guy's old. I've had this guy for a long time. Melted him once. Uh, it's a hammer. Regular, plain, old Canadian tire. Late 90s. Probably, no, no, middle school, yeah. So that would've been in the 90s. Uh, early 90s. Come on now. No, oh, sorry. Carry on. A little sentimental there with my hammer. So, uh, hex drivers. Allen keys. Many names. Pretty simple. Six sided driver for driving screws with six-sided holes in them. Probably more explaining than necessary. Wax donuts. Not for eating. These are for sealing toilets to the floor. Uh, if I have a particularly difficult one, this one's good for like eight inches. Let me try the English side. Three times for a leak free, uh, one person can be repositioned, fits any t flange. It's, uh, yeah, so if the, if the toilet rings below the floor or above the floor, uh, here we go, fits flange, fits flange height, and I can't talk anymore, uh, half inch above to one and a half below the floor. One and a half inches below the floor. That is a long way down. Anyways, we've got a few of them. Just in case, this guy is a book. Just kidding. It's a nail gun. Yeah, I had to. It's true. I really had to. It's what you do when you pull one of these out. Um, trim nailer is probably the correct term for it. Correct me, because you will. Got a few nails. I have way too big a compressor, but this works. They come in electric now. Battery powered trim nailer would be a great Christmas present for a uh, handyman. Just saying. Got some uh, hoses. Uh, 12 inch toilet hookup hoses. I bought the wrong size. I needed six, well, I needed 13 inches, but they only came in 12 and 20, so. I got these for the next job. If someone's got some low toilets, or if the hose comes out of the wall instead of the floor, they'll fit with them. Oh look, here's a nice leaky valve. This was on a toilet. So we cut the copper off, push on a nice new shiny thing. This uh, wasn't that bad. But uh, I did have to get my pliers onto here to shut the water off. And it did start dripping almost as soon as I touched it. So that's some scrap metal to go in the garage. Set that aside. And uh, that's it. That's the, uh, that's the big box. I stick all this back in here now. Uh, all right, that, that. 
these guys. There, Allen keys, hammer. These are the tools of our days. Days of our tools? I don't actually know how that goes. I never watched the show, so uh, I just I just remember that one one line. Uh, anyways, my pipe cutters, multimeter. Oh, these guys. Chain. Nuts and bolts. Picture hangy little hardware stuff. Wheels. More nuts and bolts. Garbage. Garbage. Beverage. Plane. Plane. I'm going to leave that out because that's going back in the garage. That is my tools. Close that door. Nose down. Stick this on top. Lock it in place. This one goes on top of that. Box in place and put my hat on, pull the handle up, and I can wheel it into the house. It's really awesome. How's my hat? One minute, 17 seconds. What? Ah. <laughs> oh, time left. One minute, seven, six. 